What's up YouTube, this is Joe Kempsey, and today I'm going to tell you guys how to get an actual FIDE rated title even if you cannot qualify for an over the board one. So this can be done by playing in the FIDE online arena that you can see me playing in right now. And what this is, is basically a chess client where you can play for real FIDE ratings. And the titles in this arena are the same ones over the board ones, you know, as over the board ones. But, you know, obviously different requirements in the word arena next to them. So, in this arena, to become an arena candidate master, it takes a maintain 1100 FIDE rating. I'll let you know, guys, what I mean about maintain in a sec. Arena FIDE master, and this takes a 1400 rating. Arena international master takes 1700, and arena grandmaster takes 2000. So, yeah, back to what I was saying about the maintain rating. What's annoying is you actually have to maintain these ratings in one of three ways. So, you have the choice of playing either 50 rapid games, 100 blitz games, or 150 bullet games in a row. At the rating, whatever title you're aiming for. Um, and yeah, if you go below this required rating once, though, um, the whole count resets. For example, if I win 90 out of 100 straight blitz games, but go below 1400 just one time even, my count to become an Arena Fide Master will reset to 0 out of 100 games. And I could definitely see this being, you know, pretty annoying. So, what I did to basically bypass this is I just played Bullet Chess. And this is because it's the quickest, most painless way to really get up there. And this is because time controls are obviously only just a minute. Um, but yeah, since I played uh, 150 straight games with a 1700 plus rating, I'm eligible to become an Arena International Master, as you can see I'm buying now. And for the client, the only real issue I've had is that my games tend to get a bit laggy. I'm not sure it's my connection, but it's definitely nowhere near as smooth as playing on chess.com, especially when it comes to bullet. Also, not many people play on it, so it can be hard to find games at times, especially during night, because most people are overseas from America. Um, but still, if you have the money to spend, it's not a terrible investment. There are definitely much worse ways to spend 30 bucks. Nonetheless, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you learned something. And I'll post more links in the description if you want to learn more about the FIDE Online Arena. That's all for now. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.